When an event is fired, you can choose uh, to add as many steps as you'd like, and those steps are called actions. Uh, the order in which you put them is very important because each step is going to happen. Um, the first one will happen first, the second one will happen second, etc. Um, you can choose from many actions. I'm going to move myself over here. Uh, so uh, you can click here to choose the action that will happen when uh, button join R is clicked. You have uh, account actions that are relative uh, to the user, obviously. So for example, when this happens, sign the user up or log the user out or make changes to this user or send him a um, confirmation email. You also have navigation actions like go to this page, open this website or add a post before the next action. You also have data actions. Um, they are very important um, because very often when a user does something, you want the data he, he or she inputs to be saved in your database. Uh, we'll see uh, this more in details later, but the create a new thing and make changes to thing are very important because they are going to create your data and update your data. Uh, you also uh, have email actions like send an email. Uh, payment is relative to payment, obviously, if you are have uh, e-commerce or marketplace website. And analytics is very self-explanatory. Um, element actions are also uh, very important. They allow you to show or hide or animate uh, a group or pop-up. Uh, and then you have plugins. Uh, if you installed some plugins in your app, you'll be able to fire these plugins from, uh, from here. And then there is custom events. events sorry. Okay, that's it. So now we'll uh, need to choose our own actions uh, to make sure when the user uh, clicks on the CTA that it will populate our database. When the button join now will be clicked, we want several things to happen. Um, so we want uh, to show the pop-up, uh, then the user will fill the pop-up, uh, he will click on sign up and uh, when he clicks on sign up, we want um, the user to be signed up and the data to be saved and the user to receive an email. So we just need uh, to set up all this in the workflow. 